So, you've decided to learn about the stock market, test your investment skills and stand a chance to win amazing prizes by playing the JSE virtual trading game. We're excited that you're embarking on this journey of learning about investments. It's very important that you familiarize yourself with the rules of the game, which are available at virtualtradinggame.jse.co.za. This will be your online portal throughout the game, so the more you know how it works, the better. Each competitor will get a virtual 1 million rand to build your investment portfolio. In this tutorial, we'll explain a bit more about the rules. Rule number 1. Make sure you place at least 5 trades before the end of June. And you need to have completed a minimum of 15 transactions by the end of the competition. Both buys and sells are considered as transactions and you can see how many trades you've placed by going to your transaction history on the site. Keep abreast of the time-based rules in the important date section of the website. To be eligible for the prizes, your transaction amounts must add up to at least 75% of your starting capital by the time the game is finished. This doesn't mean that you need to have a total of 750,000 Rand in your portfolio at one time. It means the combined total of your transaction history must add up to at least 750,000 Rand by the end of the game. To keep on top of this, keep tabs on your transaction history on the site. Rule number 2. No more than 20% limit held in any single FTSE JSE Top 40. So, on day 1, no more than 200,000 Rand. That is, no more than 20% limit held in any single FTSE JSE Top 40. This figure will of course change as the game unfolds and your total portfolio value changes. To work this out each time, take your total portfolio value, multiply it by 20% and divide that amount by the company share price in rands. That will give you the maximum amount of shares you can buy. And no more than 5% limit held in any company outside FTSE JSC Top 40 or Exchange Traded Fund. Similarly, to work this out each time, take your total portfolio value, multiply it by 5% and divide that amount by the company share price in rands. That will give you the maximum amount of shares you can buy. Rule number 3. You're only allowed to buy or sell a maximum share amount that works out to 5% of the actual number of shares traded on the JSE during any day. Orders that exceed this will only be partially filled. If no securities are traded, the order will be rejected and if you trade more than you are allowed, you'll get a fail message in the order status section of the trade page. To work out if the transaction you want to make is allowed, go to the trade page and look at trade quotes. Then look for the volume amount which tells you how many shares have traded so far in the day. At 5 p.m., it will have the total shares traded for the day. The rule states that you are only allowed to buy or sell 5% of the total shares traded for the day. So if, for example, you wanted to trade shares in this company, at 1 p.m. it had traded 400,000 shares. Let's say it did not trade any more for the rest of the day. 400,000 shares times 5% equals 20,000. That means you can trade a maximum of 20,000 shares in this company. And remember, your trade must also comply with rule number 2. Rule number 4. Only cash dividends will be credited to your portfolio and only if the equities are held on the last date to trade, commonly referred to as the LDT. If the declaration of the dividend falls outside the competition start date, that dividend will not be paid. If you buy or sell shares on the LDT, dividends will not be credited to your account. To research dividends, go to the Market Information section and click on Dividends. Here, you'll see the companies that have declared dividends. It will state if it's a cash dividend CD, or not. You'll receive the amount in cents that you see in the right-hand column of the dividends page. If you have met the prerequisites for a cash dividend, you'll receive that amount on the morning of the day after the LDT. You can then choose to sell or hold the share. This all sounds like a lot to remember, though once you get to grips with the rules, you'll get used to the process. And if you want to become a real investor in the stock market, you need to know everything you're about to learn by playing the JSE virtual trading game. Familiarize yourself with the frequently asked questions on the site and, when in doubt, use the help section.
Well done for taking the step to play the game. You're going to learn a lot about investing and how the JSE works. We're looking forward to seeing your progress.